close tennis ball reseeding. This drill is great for testing your ability and pushing the limits without the risk of injury. It's also great for improving hand-eye coordination and focus. This will also test your pocket, so tennis balls should not pop out of your glove. You should be able to catch every single one of these pitches. This is a great time to really push the limits to see how fast you can get your hands to be. You can keep your glove on the ground. Just make sure that you catch that pitch in one smooth motion upwards. Don't follow it down. Trust your hands and watch that ball all the way into your glove. We also want to work on being still, keeping our head quiet and watching that pitch all the way into our gloves. Our body really shouldn't move with this drill. We're just going to stay there nice and still and focused. If balls are bouncing out of your glove, then it's time to do a little bit of work in your pocket. We want a nice, deep pocket. And again, these pitches should not bounce out. They should stick in that glove, and there should be no worry about dropping any of these. Machines are great for this drill, but you also want to mix in some live arm if you can, getting the look off a good release point. It's just as important as catching pitches off a machine, so mix it up if you can. As you can see, we're catching the ball out front, presenting a nice strong pitch, and when our hands are out front, our hand-eye coordination is optimized, so make sure that we can always see our glove in our peripherals and watching that ball all the way in for optimal focus.